Hello everyone, welcome to 5 minutes practical programming tools. This time, we will still talk about CMake. Last time we discussed some commonly used CMake commands, like fan package, include directory, and so on. You could check previous video for, last, for the contents of uh, last time. And this time, we will discuss those comments. And we will tell you how to build your library with shared shared link or static link and how to set the variable by CMake and how to use the options provided by CMake and we will also give you an example to use fan package to integrate other project into your project and we will also provide more using tips for CMake such like how to check the CMake catch for details and how to use the verbose command to check the parameters set by CMake and the contents in the folder of CMake files. Firstly, let's talk about how to use shared and static keyword. This is a project. Uh, it, this is a sample project to show how to use CMake lists. And there is a main file here. It will call this calculate sqrt. This function is in this folder, uh, this sqrt here. The main function will call this sqrt function. In our CMake list, we build the sqrt.cpp into a library, and then we add this library into our executable here. So if we want to build this library into a shared library, and which will be linked to the target and the target is executable dynamically at the runtime we just need to put shared keyword here and let's do it you could say here when we build the library the same make will link the uh, object file into a shared library if you want to check more details you could do something like make verbos equals to 1 and it will print all the details for say make for make commands you could check the shared library here when it executes the building making operation it adds this dynamic lib dynamic lib here and when it builds the object file it adds this FPI thing here, which means uh, we want to we want to we want to say make to build this library and object file into a shared one. If we want to build it as static library, we just need to modify the shared into static, and then we make it again. You could see. Here, CMake links this library into a static one. So it is easy to do, just put static or shared at this position when you add the library. And CMake will build it according to this static keyword or shared keyword. But another example, for example, in this CMake list, we use this relative path here. If you don't want to use it, you want to set a variable like root path and send it to this uh, and use that root path to find this source file what should it do you just need to set a variable like root path and put the path here Put the contents of the path here, it's basic in this case, and modify the path here. And you want to use this variable and do something like this. Then the same make will set this variable and when it finds when it finds the this source source file, it will use this variable to do that let's say make it again yeah it can 
be executed normally based on this variable. And another way is to send it explicitly by the when you execute the CMIC, for example. When you do this, you could add dash d root pass equals to this. Yeah, it works. Yeah, same thing. You could use it like this or use a dash D to do it. Even if we could set the path, set, set the variable like this, but actually CMake have already provided lots of variables for us. For example, you could check this CMake cache. So here, this this is a variable set by CMake. So in this case, I could use this variable directly here here instead of using this and. Let's do it again. Yeah, it still works. We could use variable provided by this by CMake itself. All the variable is right written written into this CMake catch. Another example. For example, if you type CC make. You could say there are several options uh, which is set by CMake. What if you want to add another option, a customized option, and you want to see if this option is on? I want to build it, build the library into a static pattern, or if it is off, I will build it into a shared pattern. What should you do? Uh, you just need to do something like this, I'll just copy it here. You just use command option. For example, if static, the default value is on, and if static is on, then we will output a message static on, and build the library by static pattern. Otherwise, if it is off, we will build it by shared pattern. And let's see. And if you execute CCMake again and configure, you could see here this is static off. There is another option, static. We could set it on or off. If we set it on and we tap configure, it is static on. So it's convenient to do that, and we gen we will generate different make file according to this option. So it is more flexible to do this. Just need to, if you want to uh, define or customize your CMake list according to different options, for example, if you will want to use CUDA, if you want to use MPI or something, you just need to set customized option by this way. For the last part, let's talk about an example to use fan package to integrate project from other people into your program. For example, actually it is a little bit complicated and flexible to do this, 
we just show a similar case here. For example, this this rapid JSON, which is a popular JSON parsing library. And if we want to use this library, what should we do? To integrate, I mean, to find out the include path. Uh, if you check the this CMake file here, rapid JSON config cmake.cmake.in, it will provide some configuration used for CMake. For example, then you say find package uh, rapid JSON. Actually, the CMake will find this variable. If you set this variable to the build directory of the rapid JSON, uh, those variables will be set, set by CMake. So you could find those variables directly. For example, if you want to include some header files, you just uh, you don't need to do that because CMake already provides those information. We could provide more concrete examples for the following parts. And basically, that's all for this video. And we will already show how to check the CMake catch and how to use the ver uh, verbos to get the detailed information. For CMake files, actually, if you check it, You could find the two important parts are those directories. These, these are two target used in this CMIC list. If you jump into those directory, you could find the object file here, and you could check if the object file is built successfully, then there are some problems with your CMake list. And that's it for this video. And there are some references here. Those two are about the comments, the detailed information from CMake, and this too is about, about the dynamic link. And that's it. See you later.